Hello, my name is Sebastian Springer and the name of my project is Redesigning a Biochemistry Laboratory Course. I'm a professor of biochemistry and cell biology here at uh, Jacobs University and in fact I have been working here for 20 years and uh, I've been running uh, laboratory courses for a very long time and uh, they have a very special challenge. Yeah. When you're in biochemistry, it's a very exciting subject. For example, here if you look at this antibody to understand the molecular uh, way in which it functions, um, uh, everything is very complicated and very complex. And um, so what many people do in many other places in the world is that they give for these very complex procedures that people have to do in the lab, they give to the students some very detailed and very uh, elaborate recipes for the complicated experiments. And as a result of that, the students often feel that um, they can't really um, engage very much with the experiment because everything is already preset. And so they come and it's like making, in the laboratory, it's almost like making a very complicated cake or so. You have to go through this sequence of many, many steps and you basically just kind of take them off. And it doesn't really feel as if you're involved as a person with your own ideas and your own creativity and your own urge to find things out. And um, this is a little bit of a dilemma because everything is so complicated and you need to uh, get that across too. And so um, basically for the entire time that I've been here I've thought about how to make, how to engage people more in such a laboratory course setting and uh, this came uh, to fruition when uh, I was asked to teach the advanced biochemistry laboratory course a few years ago and then now we had the um, Building Beyond Boundaries uh, grant uh, uh, that we applied for and we said that what we wanted to do uh, was uh, to develop a new kind of laboratory course where you can, uh, where students have more of a say. And when I say we, I mean um, uh, of course myself as the instructor of record but also a pretty large number, maybe 10 or so uh, undergraduate students who got very deeply involved in this project. We implemented a lot of other things that we had wanted to do that would enable students to access the methodology of the course a little bit better. For example, um, you would, in, you know, instead of explaining the methods uh, just in a in a in a in a book or in a sheet in a in a printed material that people get prior to the course, we made videos for each one of those. Uh, 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 methods, for example, DNA agarose gel electrophoresis or so, that would allow students to actually see in front of them the, 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 uh, how the actual method is done and that allows them also to implement the methodology better in an actual laboratory protocol. Um, there were many other changes that we, uh, that we, we made to how the biochemistry courses run and I hope that this has made you curious and that you would want to explore our um, project a little bit further. Uh, I can't uh, end here without saying uh, thank you very, very, very much, both to the foundation that enabled the work, but also to the many people who have uh, contributed to the success of it.